The new iPhone 4S has been announced, but given that the new phone looks identical to the iPhone 4, many are still thinking about what the inevitable iPhone 5 will bring. A lot of what was rumoured for the iPhone 5 has ended up on the 4S, so we've peered through the rumour fog again to bring you our definitive guide as to when we think you'll be able to get the iPhone 5, what it will look like, and why you should think about upgrading. The question of when we're actually going to see the next iPhone has taken a new twist since the iPhone 4S took the mooted October launch. Rumours of a delay because of faulty processors and the earthquakes in Japan affecting Apple's supply emerged, and now it seems we're first going to see the iPhone 5 in 2012. It makes sense that Apple would head back to its usual June slot for the new iPhone 5 release, so it could only be nine months before we see the next iPhone unveiled. Any new iPhone is always the first device to show off the new iOS operating system from Apple, and we expect to see the same with the iPhone 5. The Cupertino brand has always used the new iPhone to promote the power of its new operating system, and we expect to see the fabled deeper Facebook integration that was supposed to be on offer with the launch of the iPhone 4S but never materialised. Apple doesn't always change the design of its phones, but the iPhone 4 was quite a departure from previous models, although the iPhone 4S clearly wasn't, and it seems the iPhone 5 will do that again. Rumours suggest that we'll be seeing a curved back made of metal, a thinner phone than ever before, and a larger screen. Something edge to edge will look beautiful, be a great selling point, and sit well with Apple's style ethic. The iPhone 4S joined the iPad 2 in the world of dual core processors, with 1GB of RAM to help speed things along. The iPhone 5 won't push that much higher in all likelihood, unless apps become more power hungry but we will probably see another increase to the graphical processing power to make games and internet browsing even more efficient. News outlets have been quick to confirm the arrival of an iPhone Nano for years, as it makes sense Apple would debut a cheaper version the same way as the iPod Nano has succeeded. However, it's almost certain we won't see an iPhone Nano announced, as we've seen no evidence whatsoever Apple is working on one. Given the fact smaller touchscreens are becoming a thing of the past, an iPhone Nano just isn't needed now that Cupertino brand has an iPhone for every price bracket, with the older models coming in at a lower cost. Stay tuned to Tech Radar where we'll bring you updated information about forthcoming iPhone 5 rumours as we get them.